Yeah, Deborah Kill. Good stuff. Next up on our list is a lady who really needs no introduction, but I'm going to give her one anyway. For those of you that don't know her, Heather Hebert, please come up. Can everybody hear me okay with this? I'll try to project. Yes, Grant, I know. Kiss the mic. <laughs> I don't want to talk. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got it. A little closer and start to Okay. So if you'll forgive me for a minute, i got to go to my crib's notes here. Um, when I heard that the uh, that this was about love poetry, it's kind of interesting because my husband and I have been talking about the subject of love at length. Um, and some of the articles that we've come in contact with are the different types of love. There are a number of different types of love, uh, according to the Greeks. And the one and what I decided to, I was going to do tonight or today, pardon me. Uh, is try to bring poems that encapsulate each of the four types of love as defined by the Greeks. So the first one, and the one we're probably all the most familiar with, is the concept of eros, which is romantic or sensual. So I'll open with that. Two poems representing eros. Chocolate. The bite of bittersweet, dust of Dutch cocoa, like when God molded man from the earth. Your hands paint me with chocolate, while your lips, tongue, teeth melt again. 